Today is my dear sister-in-law's wedding. Here I am lying in a hospital bed. On the way to the venue, I got into collision with a car that ran a red. Why did this have to happen on such important day? I rarely ever get into accidents. Where are you now? I had an accident and I'm at the host. It's my sister's big day. Don't you understand that? I understand, but... Shut up. Listen to me. You crawl if to, but you must attend. Got it? Yes. I told the doctor who tried to stop the situation and headed to the nearest taxi in my battered state. When my husband noticed my presence, he criticized me in my hospital gown. What the heck are you wearing? Are to ruin my little sister's big day really are a loser? I had just been thinking that maybe I shouldn't have come at all when things unexpectedly took a turn. My name is Nora and I am 33 years. After graduating from technical school, she obtained a qualification as a wedding planner and now works for a bridal products company supporting weddings. I began to want to become a wedding in my high school years. When I attended my cousin's wedding, I was captivated by the beautiful atmosphere. Not only the bride and groom, but also all the other guests were able to smile. When I found out that there was a J could create such an atmosphere, I want to work in that field. My long cherished dream has finally come true and I am now doing the job that I have always wanted to do. There are people who have many things to do before their wedding and there are those who leave everything to us. Among the various couples, I always try to make it the best wedding for them. Two years ago, I got married as well. My partner's name is Troy who was a classmate in high school. We were in the same music club, but started dating back then. We reunited at a high school reunion years ago and developed a relationship that led to marriage. After getting married, at first, I was happy to be living the life I wanted with the person I loved. However, now that two years have passed in our marriage, my true feelings have, I think, that I should not have gotten married. This feeling started in the first ye marriage. Although we had small arguments on occasion, there were times when we did nothing but talk all day long. One day, I had to work overtime, which was unusual, and came home after 8 p.m. Before leaving the workplace, I checked my smartphone and saw that my husband had called me dozens of times. I called him back, but there was no him answering. When I became anxious and hurried back home, there he was, lying on the sofa. I ran to him, worried, and called out his name. Hey, Troy, are you okay? What do you mean? Well, I saw a bunch of missed calls, so I thought something might have- Don't you know why I called you? My husband was staring at me with a blank expression, and eventually he started fidgeting with frustration, and I couldn't help but feel his irritation. I had no idea why my husband was so upset. Did I inadvertently do something to him? With that thought in mind, I asked hastily, Hey, did I do something? Did I do something to make you so angry? Huh? It's because you came home late, XX. You're a wife, but you prioritize you over your husband. Troy? My voice trembled involuntarily as husband's demon-like expression. It was the first time I had ever seen anything like this, so I didn't know how to react. Ignoring my fear, my husband clicked tongue intentionally and gave me a look, then spoke to me roughly as couldn't be bothered. Listen, you don't have enough aware of your wife. I married... A woman like you, who's not special, you should be grateful to me. Troy, what are you talking about? We married because we love each other. Huh? That can't be true. I talked to you at the reunion because I have a better face than most. What? That's alien, right? It doesn't matter. You ended up falling in love with me anyway. Well, 
I thought you were more capable of doing household chores, but that was a miscalculation. That's terrible. It sounds like your husband is giving you a menacing glare as you try to argue with him. I was visibly shaken, and he seemed to be looking down on me. Listen, you are in the position of who was married off. Therefore, you should be grateful to it. What? We're not an equal couple. That's just on the surface. I fell in love with you, not just anything. Then what's the point of being married? Get a divorce right now. Are you sure about that? Your parents happy about this marriage, weren't they? Plus, you get along well with my friend. You really just decided to get a dog of a sudden like this. As my husband uttered those words, tightened with a strong grip. He was right. My parents were overjoyed at our marriage and his parents also liked their own daughter. Even his sister adored me. Could I really make them all sad with my selfish feelings? I couldn't hurt the people who cared. My husband knew my kind-hearted nature, and that's why he could make such statement. He was taking advantage of my kindness, but his arrogance angered me. Hmm. And I didn't have the courage to stand up to him. Since then, my husband treated me one housekeeper. If I came home late, he complained. And if I wasn't prepare meals or baths on his schedule, he, he even threw things at me when he was in a bad mood. Every time he did that, I poured out my thoughts and feelings into my diary. I wrote down what he did and said, felt at the time. By recording these events in detail, I was able to calm my emotions. This kind of married life continued for years, but I had gotten used to it, although I was still worn down. One day, some happy news came to me. Huh? Marriage? I involuntarily asked back in a low voice. The person on the phone was my husband's sister, Iris. Yes, I'm getting married. Iris happily told me over the phone. Oh, congratulations, Iris. I'm so happy for you. Thank you very much. And there's C want to ask you, Nora. Something you want to ask me? I'll do anything I can for you. Um, actually, we haven't decided on venue or anything yet. So I really need to consult with you as a wedding planner. With me? Of course. I'd be glad to assist you. Thank you, sis. I love you too. The next day, I started carving out my beloved sister-in-law's wedding cake. I knew well that there should be no difference in how I treated my clients. I still wanted to provide the best service possible for Iris, whom I cared about. After about five months of preparation, the wedding was completed without a hitch. I do work at the wedding venue as a bridal production company end. This time, I can attend the wedding that I supported as a relative. There's nothing more joyful than this. Making my sister-in-law's wedding dress was an incredible experience, and being able to attend her wedding had a significant meaning for me. On the day of the wedding ceremony, some business to attend, to at work heading to the venue separately from husband. After quickly finishing my work at company, I headed straight to the E6 while checking my watch and waiting at a pedestrian crossing, a car suddenly rushed towards me, ignoring the traffic signal and collided with my body. With a dull sound of thud, my consciousness was lost. When I came to, I was lying on a hoss bed. My body was in pain and bandages were wrapped around my arms and legs. That's right, I was in an accident time. Fortunately, I didn't seem to have bones. However, there is a dull sensation right foot and I cannot move it. We, for now, I called the nurse and waited for her arrival. The nurse confirmed that I had a wake called the doctor. You're Nora, right? Do you remember with a car that ran a red light at intersection? Yes, I do. It was a dark green car, I believe. That's good news. Thankfully, you didn't sustain any serious injuries. The numbness you're feeling in certain areas should improve gradually 
with physical therapy during your hospital stay. I see. Thank you very much. The doctor left the room and I lay down on the bed. It was then that I remembered something important. Wait, what? As I search through my bag for my peel starts ringing. Hey, Nora! Where are you and what are you doing? Frantically responding to the call, my husband shouts at me over the phone. Iris's wedding is about to start. Troy, thank God you called. Honey, it's perfect timing. Actually, I was in an accident on my way to the W. An accident? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to use that. My husband yelled at me as though I were a nuisance. His voice was piercingly loud. Don't you dare mess around today. It's your little sister's big day, you know that, right? I know, but right now. Shut up. I'll... Listen, even if you crawl, you're gonna attend the six got it? But I'm not sure if it's a good idea to use this method. I realized that there was no point in explaining further, since he wouldn't anyway. Talking to him would be futile. I felt our marriage crumble before I became aware of this. I had had, normally, I wouldn't be able to attend the ceremony in my current state. However, I desperately wanted to be Iris's wedding. But if I did attend, would it mean that we continue in this deteriorating marriage? As I pondered this question, I slowly got out of bed, grabbed my bag, and left the hospital room. As I stumbled down the hallway, he stopped me as expected. I explained the situation to my doctor, managed to hail a taxi in my battered state. Thirty minutes later, I arrived at wedding venue and people began to appearance. That was when I finally realized that I had to come to the ceremony in my hospital gown. However, there was no time to change. I decided to quietly sit in the core. The ceremony began. As I sat on my chair, thinking about something, I heard someone call my name. Nora. My husband runs towards me with a demonic expression on his face. He looks down at me and says coldly, What the heck are you wearing? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. I came here in a hospital, so I ended up in this place. Don't talk back to me. Uh, come on, supposed to be the big day for Iris. And you're ruining the mood with your ugly attitude. I'm sorry. Seriously? Okay. As I nod, my husband looks down on triumphant expression. I thought to myself that it would have been better not to come. In first place, as it was going to be like this. That's when Iris, her face red, approached me. Hey. Troy, what was that just now? Troy notices her and asks, Oh, Iris, what's wrong? Are you reacting to something? Never mind that. Just answer me. What was that conversation just now, Nora in such a state here? Listen, she got into an accident on here. She's so clumsy, but don't worry. I made sure to bring her to the venue you... Is it true that there was an accident, Aura? I slowly nod at my sister-in-law, and then her face turned, red as she hits my husband with all she's got. With a dry sound of slap, my husband tilts his head back to look at me. Troy holds his left cheek and snaps. Hey, Iris, what the heck are you doing? That's my word. What the hell is go here? Why do you... Did you forcefully bring her here, even though she's in such a state? Are you crazy or something? Wait a minute, Iris. I did it... did it for your sake. How is this for my sake? My beloved is in such a terrible state. Did you think that I'd be happy? See, like this? Well, that's... My sister-in-law gives my husband a glare and Troy flinches at her intense gaze. I can't believe my own brother would do something like this. It's inhumane. Iris. What? I'm controlling my emotions or being mindful of the situation. You're a scumbag. Why? I did it for your sake. 
my husband turned to me, tears well, his eyes, and desperately clung to. Nora, please say something to her too, that I did it for Iris, right Nora? What? Why me? Isn't it obvious? If you hadn't got an accident, we wouldn't have had to. My husband, instead of acknowledging his mistake, blamed me for getting into an accident. I took a deep breath and said to my, So, it's your fault that you got into an accident? Is that what you think? I wanted to be here as soon as possible. It's Iris's important wedding, after all. I couldn't hold back my emotions. Despite that, instead of comforting told me to crawl over here, what do you think I am, some kind one? Well, that's a good question. I don't need you to tell me. I care about Iris and wanted to participate in this from the beginning. That's why I listened to your stupid advice and crawled my way over here. Calm down. It's a wedding today. We'll talk later. Shut up. I can't forgive you for trampling over someone's feelings like this day. Like today, I have no intention of continuing to be married to a person like you any longer. I'm not your maid. Do whatever you yourself. I said that and headed towards the... My sister-in-law, Iris, supported me in my time of need. Hey, Nora, I'll take a lot of pictures at your wedding so that you can see them later. Iris. With tears in my eyes, my sister-in-law continued. Don't cry. I want you to see me at my happiest more than anyone else, okay? Thank you. I got back in a taxi and returned to the hospital. The attending doctor scolded me severely, which resulted in my being hospitalized for six days. Later, I heard from Iris that my husband couldn't attend the wedding ceremony. Relatives who had overheard our conversation became furious and rained down insults on us. They even said that he wasn't a member family and he was kicked out of the association. With encouragement from Iris, I decided to divorce my husband. The diary in which I had recorded my harassment turned out to be a blessing during the divorce proceedings. Although all of this happened after being discharged from the hospital in wanted to give up on his life, I couldn't sacrifice my precious lit man like him. I will be busy with the divorce pro while, but I still believe I will be happy and continue to fight for it.